We'll wait till the pastors get set down before we get started. <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> As you know, this is a very important service for all of us that uh, I think we all enjoy doing. And we enjoy expressing appreciation to our pastors. And we're thankful for each and every one of them. And we're glad you joined us tonight. And we're looking forward to a wonderful service, and we're thankful for you being with us. Before we get started, let's ask the Lord to help us. Father, we're thankful that we can be in your house tonight. We're thankful, Lord, for this occasion. We're thankful, Lord, for the special folks that you've endowed us with, the people that we have, that we look to as our pastors, Lord. We're grateful for their lives and for their testimonies. We pray that every aspect of this service tonight Every special moment, every even funny moment, we pray that it would give glory to your name and also to our pastors tonight. May they go home feeling appreciated in their soul and help us to express it as well as we possibly can. In Jesus' name, amen. Tim's coming to lead us. Get your chorus, but we'll start off with the choruses. Uh, and I want to say something in line with... Uh, Pastor appreciation. Uh, I love and appreciate our pastors and their families. And uh, they're down to earth men, and I consider them my friends and their wives. You're down to earth ladies, too. And uh, I can confide in them. And then the one thing about it is they preach the truth. And I don't know if you've heard that greater vision song. You know, now come a time, preacher, don't tell me what I want to hear. Tell me what I need to hear. Yes, sir. And uh, back in the day, today's day, everything's getting gray. Not by God, the people turning things to gray. And uh, I like when things are just a little more black and white. And, uh, and I love and appreciate that. And they do a lot of work around here. Actually, right before service, I went to Ms. Restroom and they're both back there working on the toilet. <laughs> So you just you just never know where a pastor what their duties require, and uh, so. But I do love and appreciate these men and their families, and uh, thank God for them. Get your chorus book and turn to chorus number 94. 94. <laughs> Thank you. 
She said, my apology. She said, you're right. You're right. And uh, she said, I just didn't see these extra numbers here. And she said, you were right. Well, let me take care of it. And I stood there like, thank you. Lord. Yes. I didn't have to get aggravated. Didn't have to say, you know, wait a minute. I didn't, we didn't. It all worked out. And I specifically prayed, dear Lord, please keep me calm and help this to work out. And it did. And I thank you for that. And then the other night, Patty and I were driving well, last night. We left here. I had the mower and everything up the trailer in the back of my truck. And uh, drove down Mall Road and it had rain. And this I almost said lady, but I can't prove that. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. And they pulled right out in front of me. I mean, literally right out in front of me. And I, I'm like driving over to the left and they kept coming too. And I'm like, here we go. I'm going to T bone them. But it all worked out somehow. We missed them. I, I thank God for that. Let's go to 105, right across the page. 105. And I thank you for
395. And I also want to say I uh, appreciate Ellie and Eli for uh, ministering with our youth. Yes, sir. They've got more energy than me. Well, he's got more energy than the rest of the youth group. <laughs> but we thank, thank them so much for their ministry to our young people. And uh, our young people are so important. And that's our next, when we're gone, we're going to be the next ones. 395, 395,
grateful for thy people, grateful for their giving and their reminding of you, Lord, and that giving. We're thankful, Lord, that every need has been supplied. And we're grateful, Lord, for how you're going to help us in the future. Bless in the giving tonight. Those that are able and those that are not, bless them equally alike. And we'll praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. by the children at this time. We'll let them come right now. Her granddaughter. Her granddaughter was involved in a 
serious pretty car serious accident. accident. I'm very thankful that she is okay. She's in the hospital. Yes. Phyllis is the one that sits in the back there. And let's let's remember their her name is Alice. Alice. Okay. Alice. Alice. Son. Okay. Let's keep Alice in our prayers. I see a hand back here. Yes. Absolutely. Pray for the Scott family as well. They've been through a lot. May God's comfort be with them and give protection to Rob as he travels out west. Yes, Brian. We need to thank God for driving safety. Uh, me and Cody went last week and they did my SUV. Somebody pulled out from a semi and the semi got over it finally. And so I had to get over. So I was like, hang on, Cody. And the next thing I got, we were in front of the semi. I wonder where these people are that pull out in front of people. Where do they come from? <laughs> but thank, thank the Lord. Yes, good report there. Thank God. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes, we did mention her this morning, obviously, but we do want to continue keeping Janet on our hearts. And in our prayers, and also Joyce Cooper, let's keep praying for Joyce. She needs prayer. Let's ask the Lord to help, to let this surgery be a success and continue to help her as she mends. Yes, oh, Jeffrey. Yeah, one of my co-workers, her name's Lisa, just found out her four-year-old grandchild, I'm sorry, like four-year-old grandchild. Someone, Brother Hamlin, would you lead us in prayer? All right. Any other request? Yes. Brother Evans' grandfather diagnosed with glasses. Yes. Evans' grandfather needs a physical touch as well. Let's keep praying for Israel. The Lord will help in this situation. I'm praying for a quick end to this. I'm sure you all are, but let's let's pray for the peace of Israel. Any other requests? All right, let's stand and join together for prayer. Brother Helen will lead us. Let's all pray together.
that even now that you'd be there, that you'd be reassuring them that Satan's trying to throw his darts of doubt into their lives, destroy their faith, that you would be there to bolster them, to help them see that there's hope in you, that in you alone can we put our trust. Father, there's many other requests tonight that we just looked up to you. We trust you. You're a good God. You're the one that we can trust. We pray these things in your name tonight. Amen. Thank you, Brother Helen, for leading us to the throne. <coughs> At this time, we'll have a, a special trio number by the Nancy Martin Trio. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that was beautiful. <laughs> kind of reminded me of the story I heard the other day. Uh, pastor was in a hurry trying to get to church. And he happened to cut his chin while he was shaving. <laughs> and while he was in a hurry, he went ahead and ran over, got ready for the service, and went ahead and patched himself up and went ahead with the message. As the people were filing out at the end of the service, a little lady came up to him and said, what in the world did you do to your face? He said, well, while I was looking at my sermon, I cut my chin. She rolled her eyes and says, well, maybe you need to look at your chin and cut your sermon. <laughs> makes it even funnier as I can envision some ladies in this congregation saying that. Not just ladies. Yeah. <laughs> but no, no, that skit was beautiful. Um, it's kind of in a nutshell, isn't it? What all, what our dear pastors provide for us what they do and we're just thanking the Lord for each and every one of them and every aspect of, the, of our lives that they touch is amazing and we're thankful for their faithfulness and we appreciate them so much I know they don't like this part but you know they're going to have to come up here Stettlers Strouds and Albrings you need to be up here at this time <laughs> We're thankful for all of them and you know especially for the, the new addition to the pastoral team. The Aubrings have been a blessing to us and so thankful for what they're doing. You know, one nice little thing I noticed is after the services, the young people gather around those two. Yes, That's exciting to me, and I'm so thankful for what the Lord has given us at this church and for them doing what they do. May God richly bless them. <laughs> now, they're supposed to, I guess after they, whatever they want to do or say, that's up to them. But then they're supposed to go down in front of the altar and then all of us are going to have it, a moment of personal expression of our appreciation to them as we pass by and shake hands with them. All right. It's up to you. This morning while we were singing, um, When We See Christ, um, the chorus really struck my heart and it made me think, kind of of how I was raised with um, putting your shoulder to the wheel when something was tough or when something was hard and doing it. And the chorus, you know, says toward the end, it talks about all of his life's trials and then the chorus talks about when we see Christ and it says, so bravely run the race till we see Christ. It's almost like somebody's just getting their backbone in there and said, no, sir, I'm going to run this race until we see Christ. And my have been raised by a woman who did that to me since I was a tiny baby. You know, no sir, we don't do that, or no sir. <laughs> and she grew a backbone in me that would say, mm -mm, you're raising the wrong family, either to act that way, to do that, to be this way. And it stuck with me. Even, she would, even when we would sing a song, and she would change another key and we would not expect it. And we would be like, oh, this is gonna be so high on the end. She'd look over at me and go like this and put steel in her eyes like, come on girl, you can hit it, come on. <laughs> and there was no choice but to step up to the plate and hit the note. And um, I teased somebody the other day, I said, if, if, you, if I ever die and I lay in the casket, if you'd like for me to come back, just go have mama go bum, 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 bum. And I will think we're repeating a chorus. I will sit straight up and start the chorus again. <laughs> because she can absolutely, 
you know, send that message through that little left hand on the piano. So, but there's something about that that is toward every job or challenge or anything in life. It's something inside that says, no, sir, we're going to do this and we're going to do it for God's glory and we're going to be happy. It's going to be some choices, you know, some just real choosing. And um, I do not have to do that every day with pastoring this church, not even close to every day. I don't even know if it's just a handful of times a year that I have to put my backbone in and say, no, sir, we're going to go do it. It's okay. It's, we're going to do it. But I thank God that I, I want to do it. And it's, and it's a joy to do it. It's a joy to <clears throat> pastor you all and to do it with these special, special people. And we love them dearly and love um, what God is doing in their lives and through their lives. And um, there is no concern about if you were to call one of them with your prayer request or, or, or counsel or ask one of them. We are all on this team together and we want to just see the kingdom of God move forward. And, um, and we're so thankful that it is a joy to do it. It's not always um, putting your shoulder to the wheel like a, a job job. It is something that we enjoy and we love you dearly. And thank you for this gift. It was so sweet. Um, I don't know. My kids have been, they didn't know today was Pastor Preach. I don't think they even knew this was October until today. <laughs> Somebody said something about, they said something about, what, tomorrow, what, Pastor Appreciation? And, and I said, yeah, they were like, kind of got a little gleam in their eye. They don't dislike it. I can tell you that. <laughs> so um, we are thankful for all the love you give us, and we are just very, very thankful to be your pastors. Thank you for all you do all year long. And to make it so easy and to not make it a job where it is, it is working so hard that we don't feel like you're filling our cup back up. Because you do. And we love you dearly. I want to say something right here. For 47 years she's been saying. <laughs> you understand that, don't you, Henry? <laughs> you know, you made me cry when you did the. Uh, go ahead. I was going to say, we were. Well, I was raised by a mother who who fostered that in us. Am I right, Jan? I'm right. It's in our blood. It's in our blood. But I can tell you, you guys, we would absolutely die for everyone. That's how much we love you. It's the joy of our life to pastor and do what God called us to do. Amen. I feel the same way, and I just wanted to say, uh, in, in the years of our life, when we're stepping back, and, uh, and I, I want you to know we're not struggling with that. I, I do thank you for letting us do it gently. <laughs> you know, shutting the water off like a faucet is, would, would have been more difficult, and I, I'm grateful that we can do it gently and maybe slowly. But as we're stepping back and, uh, and having given uh, all those years to what you saw up here, you know, and, and fixing the toilet before church, and, and he was out there putting a light bulb in before church. <laughs> And all, all that's involved, I, I just don't have any hard story to tell. It's, it's been a wonderful journey. And, uh, and as we do step back, uh, I, I just want to thank the Lord that God has given our church these two families, these two couples, that I feel like you are in very good hands. <laughs> And uh, both from the young people and then on to Andrew and his preaching and his leadership. And, uh, and Sherilyn's little, she's got it too. I can tell you just <laughs> ask Andrew. <laughs> I'm telling you, those bathrooms over there, uh, out there are looking good because of that. We're going to get this done. So, uh, but anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for the gift. Thank you for your kindness and love to us. And thank you for the privilege of loving you and serving you. I started to say that we all know that I'm the preacher, but Sherilyn's the talker. <laughs> and, uh, 
she does so much better in these circumstances than I do. So I thought I would quote a theologian by the name of A. A. Milne. Everybody know him as the author of Winnie the Pooh. All right. Said Piglet noticed that even though he had a very small heart, it could hold a rather large amount of gratitude. So I don't know how big a heart I have, but uh, it was holding a large amount of gratitude. And, uh, and then another quote I read said, friendship isn't a big thing, it's a million little things. And so I thought I'd tweak that a little bit of past appreciation. It isn't just the big things, but it's a million little things that you all do all through the years. And um, from Sunday school teaching, and I don't even want to go down that list because there's a lot of things that we can mention. And we'll probably have more to say about that during Layman Appreciation Month next, next month. But, but it's, it's past appreciation is, happens in a million little things all through the year that you do for us. And from the bottom of our hearts, we just say thank you so very much. We both decided to come up. <laughs> this way she can kind of keep me in line. Me and me. But uh, we, are, we are so grateful to be a part of this church and to... To have the privilege of to serve in this position and we're so grateful for that and if we could just echo everything that has been mentioned i mean other than the i don't think sister stetler's ever given me the the <laughs> nudge but she has tried to get me to sing before so that that might be in the pipeline somewhere but uh, give it a little time yes i'm starting to feel that pressure but no it's it has been such a joy to, to operate in this capacity here at the church, and we have so enjoyed it. And it is, it, it, the, the church has changed my life, and, and those in the church have really just played such an influential role in my relationship with Jesus. And I, if I can give an ounce of what I've received to anybody, then, oh, it's so worth it. And so we are so appreciative of this opportunity, and... We thank you all for all the kindness you guys give this month and even on every day occasion when the parents are willing to wait several hours for their young people, uh, the time just flies by. And we're so grateful that it does. <laughs> because we're having so much fun. That's what was meant by that's why she's up here. All right, we'll go. <laughs> so much for praying for us and just supporting us and I'm just so thankful I um, would never have believed like five years ago that I came to this church whenever you know we got married I never have believed that we would be working with you but I'm so thankful that God is just guiding he just guided us and and we just praise his name for everything he's doing for us and and just the youth group we just have such an awesome youth group a wonderful group um, and they're just so willing to serve the Lord and I'm just so thankful that you know, God gives us this chance, and so thank you so much for everything. Amen. Amen. I have a lot to say, but I'm just going to hold on to it. <laughs>